What's up? Welcome to the thrift store haul of the sixth week of the year. Is in February. Uh, I have all these items here. There's one, two, three, four bins and a special coat. We're gonna go through each item. I'm gonna explain to you why I bought it, what it's gonna sell for approximately, and then at the end of the video, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, first up is this right here. A little uh, hound dog guitar. Um, I saw this toy on the shelves and I thought, you know, this looks unique. Uh, it looks like someone put effort into it. And so I just searched in a uh, Profit Bandit dog guitar. And sure enough, this came up and it's going for about 40 bucks and I paid $2.99 for it. Not bad at all, right? When you can make 40 bucks, you know, obviously that's the revenue I'm talking about. The profits can be in the like $25 range, but still for uh, an investment of just south of $3, not bad, not bad at all, huh? Bread and butter, Guitar Hero guitar, or sorry, Rock Band guitar uh, for the Xbox 360. These sell for around 70 bucks, and I bought bought this for $3.99. A uh, new in box item, it's a like an under tank heater for reptiles or I guess anything you want to heat in the tank. Nothing uh, too special, I paid five bucks for it, new in box, it'll go for around $25. A VCR, right here, this is the Panasonic PVV4022. It's a uh, you know, pretty basic VCR, forehead Omnivision, nothing too special. It's going for around $100. Um, if I want to sell fast, I'll put it at 75. Another electronic right here. I paid almost 20 bucks for this. Pay it up. I don't like doing that, but I did in this instance. It's a Sony SLV D350P DVD VCR combo. DVD here, VCR there. I've sold those. I've sold probably 50 or 100 of those. You know, like uh, enough where I've lost track, and they always go for 150, 125. Here, a small little Sony alarm clock. I paid a buck 99 for this. Nothing too special, but it'll sell for 20 bucks and I'll make $10. You know, again, turn two bucks into $10. It's uh, it's okay, it's okay. Ankle brace, brand new, still in the, still has the, uh, the tape out and everything. I paid eight bucks for this. It'll go for around 30 bucks. It's a, a large right ankle, ankle brace. A little, a uh, little fun, little fun clock right here. Sony uh, ICFC 273, get you a look at it. It says live in the top left corner. This is like a later, late 90s model. Not as good as the dream machines, like the whiter off-color dream machines, but I'll still get 30 or 40 bucks for it. Motorola surfboard, uh, router, router, uh, modem router. I guess it's got both. It's got the wireless. You just hook this into your, into your internet and it gives you a wireless signal as well. I paid five bucks for it. Uh, I have the larger model of this. This model, if you're curious, is uh, the SB6120 and SB stands for surfboard. Five bucks, it'll go for around 30 or 40 bucks. Maybe 20 bucks if, uh, if you know, it's a little dated and the price goes down, but still, I'll make some, I'll make a little bit of money off it and it'll sell pretty quick. Bop it, XT. I buy these for, you know, three bucks all day and I sell them for around 20 bucks, 25 bucks, really, really frequently. A Fisher Price. Fisher Price uh, rattle, new in box. Whoops, but it's going for um, 25 to 30 on Amazon. And I haven't actually checked. This might be a learning toy. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not totally positive I can sell this, but I am uh, ungated for the brand Fisher Price, which is a big money maker for me. And you're gonna see more of those toys uh, throughout this thrift store. Oh, another VCR. This is the JVC. Uh, the name is kind of. It's just like a, a bunch of numbers. In letters hr-vp673u it's a good forehead vcr uh, 19 micrometer head grand canyon puzzle still got the the wrap on it i paid four dollars for it i'm gonna sell it at 50 bucks that might seem crazy to you but trust me when you're the only person selling a puzzle and it's new new in box new in case whatever you can dictate whatever price you want as long as it's below like a hundred dollars easy bake oven with uh, some mixes in there, but the, the oven is what we're really buying. I paid, I think, uh, yeah, $6 for this. And that particular model is an early 90s model, and I'm trying to match it off the packaging on the Amazon listing. There's five or six Easy Bake Ovens you're gonna see on Amazon if you search Easy Bake Oven. That's the oldest one. 
the sales ranks just a scooch below a million. Uh, and the sale price that it sold at recently is 180 bucks. Um, I don't think I can get that for this, just because I don't think they can, I, I, that was new as well. Uh, I think I'll get probably $75 for that. New in box, senior moments. I paid $2 for this, it's gonna sell for 60 bucks. You don't believe me? Look it up! New in box, Baby Einstein, Sea Dreams, Soother. Again, I paid uh, $7 for this, it's going for 40. It still has the original tape on top, and so I'll sell that as new. A uh, Casio EV510 portable color TV. Real cool thing. I used to have one of these when I was a kid. Uh, when I was like 13, I would I would watch like sports basically in, in my bedroom late at night uh, under the covers um, on, on something very similar to this. I paid, let's see, I paid $10 for it. It works, I already tested it and all that good stuff. And I should get $150 to $100 for it. Um, there's no other prime sellers. If you look on eBay, it's kind of more across the board with, with the prices, but on Amazon, which is what I sell all of these products on, I should be able to command a, uh, a typically high price for portable color TVs, as that is. New in box, One Direction doll, Singing Lewis. I paid three bucks for this, it'll go for around $25. A little digital camera, again, tested this and this works. This is the, uh, the Kodak Easy Share C190. What's great about these, is they use AA batteries right there. So you can test these super, super easy in your warehouse, your garage, your home, your basement, or wherever you test stuff, I don't know. I have a warehouse, I test them here. Some of the other cameras are gonna have proprietary batteries, so like the long lithium batteries with a certain uh, contact design, and those are a bit harder to test, but these easy shares, I'm gonna make 40 bucks off this probably, and it just took me a minute to test. Sony wireless headphones right here, got the stand and everything. I paid $15 for these. Uh, they're relatively new. The model number is MDR-RF985R. And, uh, you know, they're kind of like this. Ta-da! I hear all the wireless sounds. I'm just inundated with noises. Just kidding, they're turned off. But they do work. I almost want to keep them because they're so nice. These go for around 100 bucks used. Um, but nope, gotta sell them, gotta make that money. A Timex in the glow uh, bedside clock. I usually don't stray away from Sony on these clocks, maybe an old GE wood grain clock, but the in the glow Timex uh, is relatively in demand. It'll sell for around 40 bucks. In conflict and order, a textbook, funny story. I paid a dime for this. I was just standing in the checkout line and I saw that book someone had taken it out and then put it on like a table by the checkout line at a Salvation Army and so I just scanned it for fun and it's worth like $17 I don't know why the person it was just a smidge over a million sales rank it was like 1 million a hundred and seventy thousand so that may have scared him away but for me in my business heck yeah I'll pay a dime for that it's a, a puzzle you know new and got, got the shiny wrap still but it's got like a augmented reality version to it where you make the puzzle and you use an app on your phone to look at it. Right there, I guess. And you can kind of explore the scenery and go in and out and dive down and all that all that good stuff. Uh, I paid, I think, I don't see a price tag on this, but I believe I paid $2, or sorry, $3 for it. And it's going for about 45 bucks if I recall correctly. This next item right here, everyone should be on the lookout for. Seinfeld trivia game, and if it's new in the packaging like this, it's gonna go for 70 to 80 bucks. And if it's around Christmas, you might get 125 for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That sounds preposterous, right? It's not. This game is beloved by many people, much like myself, who enjoyed the show. Leapfrog, hand toy, Leapster software library, nothing special. It's got the box, it's not new in box, so as obviously as you can tell, uh, somebody opened it up and moved it around. I paid three bucks for it, it's going for around 40 bucks. And also, uh, Leapfrog is one more of those brands that is typically gated, and so if you're a new seller, maybe don't buy those without scanning it first and checking and seeing if you can sell it. This little toy right here is gonna go for a lot of money. It's a Transformers Rescue Bots Optimus Prime, a toy they no longer make, new in box, you know, the, the box is even in pretty good condition. Uh, I paid 99 cents for this, and I'm gonna sell it for 
between sixty and a hundred dollars. I'm not quite sure yet. There's just none of these for sale, and people want them. They're selling used all the time for like thirty bucks. It's kind of an in-demand thing, and uh, will I take advantage of that? Absolutely, I will, and you should too. Earlier, I was talking about Fisher Price toys. Uh, we're gonna see more of those now. I went to a thrift store in Michigan where I live. Uh, where there was a lot of Fisher Price toys, kind of older ones, uh, unique ones, and well, I bought them because I can sell them and I can make money off of it. This is a Fisher Price dog xylophone. I paid five dollars for it, and it's going for between forty and sixty bucks. Uh, FBA, crazy. This right here is a Fisher Price like pull phone. You pull it with this thing right here. Uh, I paid ninety nine cents for it. It's going for around 15 to 17 dollars. This is a Fisher Price Laughing Lantern, uh, a little toy I tested already. I took the batteries out. Oh, no, I didn't. Turns on, says things. That's what it is. Uh, I paid two dollars for it. I'm gonna sell it for between 40 and 60 bucks. It might take a while to sell, but I am confident it will sell. I paid five dollars for this iHome. Uh, it isn't really a, a good model number, uh, particularly it isn't a rare model number, but it is a lightning port, if you can see there, not the 30 pin port, and those are, uh, are worth a bit more. I paid five bucks for it, it'll sell for around 20 to 40 bucks. This right here is what I'm very proud of. It's a Mario toy, right? But I can't, there's no model number on it. I don't know what it's from or what it came from or who it is or whatever. I mean, I know it's Mario. Obviously, it's got, you know, a hard plastic top, it's got some some joints in here. Why? Who put so much effort into this? And the answer is whoever made the Super Mario or Super Jump Mario. And the way I found that out is I was playing with it in the store and I realized that it's got these hydraulics. Ooh. That's new. Um <laughs> caught me off guard. I paid four dollars for this and it'll go for around 40 bucks you always want to scan new in box stuff this is just like a, a a key a key lock for more security I paid three bucks for it and it's going for around 30 bucks on Amazon um, always always scan that stuff it's for a storm door I guess just to make sure that it doesn't flap out when a twister comes through your rural Nebraska town got a VTech toy here a VTech phone VTech is kind of an off brand I wouldn't say it's as popular as like Fisher Price or Little Tykes or whatever, but it is It is still, uh, it's like Leapfrog where they focus more on learning and electronics toys. This is a phone, you pull it, I don't know, there's some interactive features to it. I didn't really look that deep uh, into what it does. I just saw that it's selling for 60 bucks and I bought it for two bucks. Not bad. Trivial Pursuit Family Edition. What this is, is you have adult cards and kids cards and they're intermingled, so, well not intermingled, but they're, you know, parallel to each other. So adults and kids can play this game together. I paid $2 for this. It's going for 70 bucks on Amazon. Do you love Spider-Man? Do you love growing plants out of the heads of famous superheroes? Well, this Chia Pad is perfect for you. I guess it doesn't grow out of his head. It's, it's like wall, wall vines. Uh, I paid three dollars for it. It's going for about 25 bucks. This was kind of a weird one. It's a glass engraving set. Uh, you use it to, I don't know, put your name on a tumbler that you put alcohol in, not a blog, an actual cup. I paid six dollars for this. It's going for high 40. Two video games. They were half off. That's why I bought them. Mortal Kombat with a K. The Complete Edition. And then uh, Minecraft. I paid two fifty a piece for these. This game's going for about 15. I'll get like 21 for this for Minecraft. One of the best things to get is new in box games. Everyone knows that, right? Well, this is a perfect example because I paid $2 for this game called Rituki. It's a card game. You just it's like bingo or, or you know, or, or whatever it is, um, skip bow. It's gonna go for 70 bucks. Look it up. Rituki. Here, write it down, look it up. It's going for so much money, and it's just a uh, discontinued out-of-print game. Those are money makers. Super Soaker Squirts. It's a ball that squirts out water. I paid $4 for it. It's going for around 50 bucks. It'll probably go up for a lot more over the summer. So what I'll do is put it at 75 and see if anybody bites. And if it doesn't sell by June, I'll go down to like 30 bucks. Uh, but again, this is 
you know, I the, there's a lot of box damage, but when you look at it, it might have never been used before. I'm not totally sure. The tape is kind of falling off, but there's no sign that the tape has been ripped off. There's no, no none of the ink has been torn off the paper. And so I'm not gonna sell it as new just because that's too risky, but I will sell it as like new. And I think that's really gonna command a high price, especially given that it's like a kid's toy. You know, adults are not gonna wanna buy gross used water balls for their kids. They wanna buy nice, like new water balls for their kids. <laughs>